Hey friends, Joe here at Reverb. Many of us guitar players grew up loving the look and the massive sound associated with a half stack or a full stack amplifier. But in reality, we probably need something more versatile for the home studio, for the rehearsal space, for the stage. And after all, we don't want the front of house engineer rolling their eyes at us when we roll a full stack in to a 30 seat listening room audience. So luckily, in recent years, many brands have heard this call and all these cool amp builders have created awesome options for affordable, lower wattage amp heads. Not only are these amps physically lighter, but they're most certainly lighter on your checkbook as well. They're all available on Reverb, and if you're like me, throw them on your watch list so you get notified for the best deal. Let's check them out. Okay, first up is the latest release on our list. It's the Blackstar St. James. Blackstar totally outdid themselves, uh, developing two versions of a 50 watt all valve head with a bunch of tonal options. It's 13 pounds, arguably the lightest 50 watt all tube head out there. The St. James comes in EL34 and a higher gain 6L6 option. Both have two foot switchable channels, the first channel being a classic American inspired voicing, and in the EL34 version, the second channel is a British voice, or in the 6L6 model, a modern high gain voice on the second channel. Both models have a different, uniquely designed tone stack catered to the topology of the amp, and both have additional tonal options to change voicings. There are a few other really great features, like an effects loop, built-in reverb with two different voices depending on your channel selection, and direct XLR, quarter inch, and USB outs with cab rig technology and software that allows you to adjust various settings for a mic'd up cab sim sound. The St. James also features a variable power switch that includes a two watt selection, but also a fantastic sag option that lowers the headroom and creates a dynamic compression that feels like a broken in vintage amp. Like a lot of these amps on our list, they also come in combo versions, but we really appreciate the super portable form factor on these heads and the equally lightweight and great sounding 2x12 cabinet with Celestian Zephyr speakers, which we'll be using for all the heads we're playing in this video. And on the Black Star cabinet, the logo lights up, which is super awesome.
Okay, next up on the list here today, we have the orange micro dark. Look at how cute that thing is. Let's turn it up. The Micro Terror and Micro Dark are super portable 20 watt amps with an ECC83 preamp valve and a solid state power amp. The Micro Terror takes its inspiration from the equally portable Tiny Terror, while the Micro Dark ups the gain levels to match its Dual Dark and Dark Terror amps. The Micro Terror has an eighth inch input to make it super easy to plug in your phone and practice along to a recording. The Micro Dark features a mid-range sculpting shape knob as well as an effects loop and cab sim circuitry in the headphone output, which mimics the sound of a mic'd up orange 4x12. And they both clock in at under two pounds, making them among the most chiropractor approved amplifiers in the market. Now, if you're thinking, hey Joe, what about the Marshall portable heads? Because they make great stuff too. And there are some Marshall portable heads on the site as well. Uh, we don't have any here today, but let me tell you about a few of them. Marshall also has a few portable offerings, most notably their Studio Series and DSL-20HR amps. These all-tube 20 watt heads are a fraction of the size and weight of their classic counterparts. The Studio Series reimagines three of the most iconic Marshalls of all time, the JCM 800, the JMP 1959 SLP, and the Silver Jubilee. You can run them at 20 watts or 5 watts, making them loud enough for the stage or the bedroom. For those wanting even more flexibility, the DSL-20HR takes a more modern approach, providing two channels for different gain voices, an expanded tone section, and even includes a built-in reverb. Quilter has a few great options for super portable heads, like their Tone Block, Overdrive, and 101 series. The 101 Reverb is a 50 watt solid state head weighing in at 2 pounds and is among the smallest options on the market. The Reverb 101 has some fantastic clean tones and can also cascade into a variety of low and medium gain sounds. 
but it's Quilter's three knob EQ section that is where a lot of the tone sculpting magic comes from. The bass and treble knobs act as a traditional tone stack, while the active mid knob provides a strong cut boost functionality. There is also a limiter function that brings the ceiling down on the top end, as well as an effects loop, headphone out, and as the name suggests, built-in reverb. Okay, next on our list we have from the legendary name, Eddie Van Halen, the 5153. Let's check this out. And off the bat, I'm sure you're noticing that we are on a clean channel, which is green, and we can switch to a dirty channel, which will be red. The 5153 is a 15 watt EL84 powered head that features two foot switchable channels that each have independent gain and volume controls via concentric knobs. The green channel is a vintage styled voice tuned for pristine cleans and bluesy gain, while the red channel scorches to accommodate the most heavy riffs you can muster.
Another honorable mention, and perhaps the most versatile amp on this list today, comes in the form of a Mesa Boogie Mini Rectifier 25. Mesa Boogie has managed to fit two completely independent channels and tone sections with four style modes into its 25 watt EL84 based power amp. The foot switchable channels can each be switched to 10 watt or 25 watt, and the style modes cover a vast array of boutique tones that lovers of the original Recto amps are sure to be impressed with. <laughs> Those of you who grew up in the 90s and we used to put CDs in a cargo pant pocket. You could even fit a double disc CD in there if you tried. This is this is the equivalent. You could fit you could go to a gig with your cargo pant pocket. Put a high gain and an AC from the MV50 series from Vox in both pockets and you'd be all set. <laughs> Without a doubt, the smallest portable head on our list today is the Vox MV50. The MV50 series are tiny, one pound, three knob amps with an all analog preamp circuit that features Vox's new tube technology. The MV50 series has different models for different voices, and all of them contain a direct out as well as switches for impedance and flat or deep EQ. We tested these out when they first arrived in the market and we were blown away with how good they sounded, especially being the size of an effects pedal. mention here, if you're looking for a different flavor of a pedal sized amp, check out the ZVEX Nano Amp, which is a half watt amplifier meant to deliver some medium to heavy saturated tones.
So next today, a really cool option from Friedman Amps, the Mini BE, which is based on the BE100 and the BEOD. So it's basically an overdrive pedal in an amp. You know, you can get clean, uh, clean tones by rolling off volume, but other than that, this amp is pretty much meant for saturated overdrive tones. Let's check it out. Another cool portable sized head from Friedman is the Pink Taco. The Pink Taco is based on the acclaimed BE100 and it's a hand wired 20 watt EL84 powered amp that Friedman went to great lengths to make feel and sound like its 100 watt counterpart. Rounding out our list today, our final honorable mention, the Paul Reed Smith MT-15. The MT-15 is Mark Tremonti's signature amp, and though it was designed with heavier sounds in mind, this 50 watt two channel 5881 powered all tube amp has a wide variety of tones. The clean channel has plenty of headroom, as well as a boost switch that takes you into some creamy overdrive, while the second channel has five stages of gain before you reach the master. There's an effects loop and bias controls for easy servicing, and there's a 15 watt and a switchable 7 watt option. There you have it, some really great options for portable amp heads. Let us know in the comments which one you think sounded the best. If there's one you're particularly looking at, make sure you read up more about it on Reverb, throw it on your watch list, hopefully you get that sweet deal. Um, thanks so much for watching, we'll see you guys next time.